Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes, endless pine forests, and starbrush skies. Most people know Minnesota for its cold snaps, its wild boundary waters, and its place as the North Star State. But while its surface seems calm and familiar, something is stirring beneath. Lately, a surprising string of unusual events has caught the attention of scientists, not just local experts, but researchers from across the country. What's happening now in Minnesota isn't just interesting, it's nothing short of astonishing. Beneath this tranquil landscape, woven through rivers, forests, and farmland, hidden phenomena have begun to emerge, some rooted in distant millennia, others flashing like signals from beyond, from unexpected climate clues embedded in ancient rock, to spectacular light shows spilling over southern skies, to scientific experiments unfolding miles underground. Minnesota is revealing secrets even its oldest residents never imagined. In this story, we'll journey below the surface to uncover firsthand what has just emerged in Minnesota. Discoveries so strange and profound, they're forcing top scientists to rethink what they know about the upper Midwest. Its climate, its history, and even its place in the broader planetary system. Mysteries, on every scale from microscopic to monumental, are converging here in one unexpected state, and the effects could stretch far beyond the Northwoods. So go ahead, tap that like button, subscribe for more explorations into the unknown, and get ready, because the story of Minnesota just turned from familiar to fantastic. Are you ready to discover what lies beneath the surface? The lights that shouldn't exist. It was supposed to be a routine, quiet spring night in the heart of the Midwest. As darkness fell, residents from St. Paul to tiny rural towns looked up and found the skies ablaze with ribbons of color. The northern lights, or aurora borealis, shimmered in vibrant greens and purples, descending further south than anyone living could recall. Minnesota has always danced on the edge of these displays, but this time, the aurora swept into the state and as far as Iowa. This was no ordinary aurora. For hours, the skies rippled and shined, fueled by a powerful expulsion of solar plasma, the sun sending billions of tons of charged particles racing toward Earth. This coronal mass ejection was strong enough that space weather services issued alerts across several states. But when Minnesota's sky exploded in color, scientists paid attention for a deeper reason. What set this event apart? First, the sheer reach and frequency. Though solar storms do strike at high latitudes now and then, the intensity of this display was far above Minnesota's normal range, more akin to what's expected in Alaska or Canada. For scientists, the event became a signal to ask urgent questions. Is something shifting in the Earth's upper atmosphere or magnetosphere that could make regions like Minnesota more exposed to such outbreaks? Could the state's infrastructure, everything from power grids and communications to the agricultural systems that power GPS-based tractor navigation become more vulnerable as a result? At the same time, the aurora danced overhead. Sensitive scientific equipment from Duluth to Grand Rapids picked up dramatic fluctuations in geomagnetic fields. The entire region resonated with a magnitude of atmospheric energy normally measured only much farther north. There were also reports of minor disruptions, brief radio noise, and short-lived rerouting of commercial aircraft to avoid GPS blackouts. What began as a spectacular show for locals quickly transformed into a live case study for climatologists, space physicists, and infrastructure experts worldwide. As the light faded, Unanswered questions remained. Was this a rare, one-off solar event or the beginning of a pattern? Could Minnesota, a state better known for cold winters than cosmic weather, be evolving into an unexpected early warning site for extreme space weather? If such brilliant skies can erupt over Minnesota in a flash, what else might be changing, unseen, above and below our feet? The Arrowhead's Particle Mystery 
Finally tonight, if you take a walk along Lake Superior shoreline, you're likely to find treasure at your feet. Travel west from Lake Superior's rugged shoreline and you'll enter the Arrowhead region, a wild landscape shaped by ancient glaciers and geological upheaval. For over two decades, a cutting edge experiment has been quietly running here, deep underground, known only to a small community of researchers. The ongoing quest to understand neutrinos, the universe's most elusive particles. Buried within this stark terrain, a high energy particle beam has, for years, been aimed thousands of kilometers underground toward the Sudan Underground Laboratory, a repurposed iron mine shielded from the cosmic rays that bombard the surface. Here, scientists have spent years firing neutrino beams into the Earth to detect their fleeting interactions with atoms in the dense ancient rock. Neutrinos are among the strangest particles in the cosmic zoo. Trillions pass through your body each second, almost never interacting with ordinary matter. But every so often, one will collide with an atom inside the giant detectors placed deep in the mine, producing a tiny telltale flash. For physicists, these rare interactions are invaluable. They hold information about cosmic sources, the nature of matter and antimatter, and even the structure of the universe itself. In recent years, though, something curious has happened. The patterns emerging from data inside the Sudan lab have grown more complicated as tiny fluctuations in neutrino detections began to correlate, however subtly, with episodes of geomagnetic disturbance, such as those seen during the recent auroral outbursts. Could these patterns be a coincidence, or is there another link, perhaps between solar activity, geomagnetic fields, and the cosmic particle streams that envelop the planet? While no definitive connection is established yet, scientists are expanding the research effort, introducing more sensitive detectors and advanced artificial intelligence tools to track future anomalies in real time. The Arrowhead now draws attention from around the globe as a testing ground for questions that reach from the subatomic to the cosmic. If such odd patterns of cosmic radiation are being detected here, could Minnesota, through geography or pure happenstance, become a kind of listening post for phenomena no other site yet observes? The drought's deep roots, unearthing ancient patterns. As sky and earth pulse with mysterious energy, something equally profound is reshaping daily life on the surface. For several recent years, Minnesota's swaths of farmland and forest faded from vibrant green to brittle gold and brown. A persistent drought, part of a broader North American pattern, has gradually tightened its grip. Ponds evaporate, crops wilt, rivers recede. But new research, unearthed in silt and ancient ice, has revealed startling lessons about the region's past and its likely future. Paleoclimatologists, scientists who study Earth's ancient climates, have long argued that Minnesota contains hidden records in its bedrock, lake sediments, and buried ice. In 2025, a major study confirmed it. Drill cores sampled near the Twin Cities revealed abrupt transitions between centuries of aridity and sudden bursts of flood and rainfall, stretching back to the last ice age. Most hauntingly, the research found that the current drought fits not simply within one past pattern, but appears linked to multiple overlapping climate cycles, including those governed by ocean temperatures, atmospheric circulation, and, possibly, unexpected atmospheric factors. Minnesota, in other words, is a sensitive climate crossroads, a place where even small changes can ripple widely. As researchers assemble this evidence, they ask, can traditional farming survive another repetition of these ancient cycles? Are Minnesota and the wider grain belt ready for climate swings or for drought cycles that may strike deeper and recur more often than previously expected? These hidden fingerprints of climate newly unearthed are pressing a vital question on everyone who calls this landscape home. Are these shifts a warning or just the beginning of bigger changes still to come? Ecological breakthroughs, the solar surprise. In the midst of growing concerns about water, climate, 
and cosmic changes, not all the news from Minnesota's ground is worrying. In fact, some is quietly optimistic and points to solutions that blend technology and ecology. Take, for instance, the solar fields outside Rochester, rows of blue panels harvesting the sun. At first, there's nothing unusual about these installations, but recent research in Minnesota, published in partnership with state research centers, revealed something unexpected. The land beneath these solar panels teems with new life, far more than in surrounding open ground. Rather than just producing renewable energy, the panels shade the earth, which turns out to moderate temperature swing and preserve soil moisture, hugely beneficial during the recent drought. Even more encouraging, camera traps and field surveys have documented a flourishing under the panels. Native grasses, wildflower, pollinators, even small mammals and birds, all thriving in the protected microhabitats. For a state grappling with environmental pressures, this is a revelation. Solar energy here isn't just about clean power. It's also a tool for resilience, providing vital ecological benefits exactly when they're most needed. As drought cycles intensify and old farming models come under stress, Minnesota may find its landscape increasingly transformed, not just by solar panels, but by the lively habitats they support. Is it possible that the future of conservation will depend as much on blue photovoltaic cells as green fields? The answer could shape the coming decades not just in Minnesota, but across the country. History in the Bedrock, rewriting Minnesota's hidden past. Beneath Minnesota's lakes and forests, the ground beneath us holds a record of unimaginable age. The state's geology tells a story of upheaval, billion-year-old bedrock, ancient fault lines, and sediment left by vanished seas. In recent projects, geologists drilling into the far north have retraced patterns in these old stones. Thin veins of rare minerals, abrupt chemical changes, and traces of extreme heat, some of which may point to ancient asteroid strikes or volcanic events that influence the continent's shape. Analyses of core samples have hinted at dramatic episodes, cosmic impacts, or volcanic eruptions whose signatures are delicately preserved in the stone, but direct evidence is still being studied. What is sure is that the geology here, thanks to advances in technology and sampling, is full of clues waiting to be deciphered. Alongside these mineral records, new studies have detected ancient organic molecules trapped deep inside rocks. Some of these may suggest the presence of microscopic life that persisted in extreme conditions, possibly long before well-known fossil lineages took hold. Unseen currents, the invisible shift in Minnesota's climate, and sky. While dramatic droughts, auroras, and underground experiments catch headlines, quieter changes are also sending important signals. These subtler shifts in Minnesota's landscape and atmosphere are rapidly overturning assumptions about the pace and nature of environmental change in the region. Over the past few years, Minnesota's climate scientists, including at least three researchers set to help author the latest national climate assessment have watched altered patterns accumulate in a growing body of data. Sudden swings in temperature, rainfall, and air chemistry. Months of intense dryness, followed by bursts of torrential rain. These abrupt shifts mirror those found in ancient sediment records, reinforcing the idea that the old balance is gone. On the ground, satellite imagery shows approaching waves of vegetation change at the edge of towns and lakes. Insect populations appear in new places, while plant diseases, once rare, spread through farm field. Air quality sensors, built for tracking ozone or particulates, now pick up irregular spikes matching the timing of geomagnetic disruptions and auroral events. What's driving these changes? The best evidence suggests several factors, with rising greenhouse gas concentrations and global warming operating alongside shifting oceanic and atmospheric cycle. The region's underlying geology and its exposure to periodic space weather may amplify or interact with these patterns in ways not yet fully understood. An open question now engaging dozens of research teams. Driven to discover the state fair's scientific revolution. 
every Minnesotan has memories of the state fair, the scent of caramel corn, the hum of the midway, the gathering of communities from every corner of the state. But in 2025, science itself has found a stage at the fairgrounds. The Driven to Discover Research Facility is changing the way scientific research happens and who gets to participate. Winning national recognition with the 2025 ARIS Impact Innovation Award, this portable research center invites fairgoers, kids, parents, teachers, farmers, and retirees to take part in real-time data collection and active field studies. Whether it's gathering information on wildlife, testing water quality, or helping track insect migrations, citizens become a vital part of ongoing research. On an average day, university teams and visitors together produce thousands of data points on subjects as varied as plant genetics, pollinator health, or climate effects on allergy seasons. The state's climate and ecology experts, some of whom are contributing directly to America's flagship climate research products, use this on-the-ground data to influence decisions about agriculture, habitat restoration, and natural resource management. When choices about crops or pollinators are made, they're now backed by more immediate, precise monitoring than in almost any other state. Could this spirit of discovery and public involvement provide a roadmap for tackling bigger challenges, climate change, biodiversity loss, and the search for sustainable livelihoods in an age of rapid transformation? Minnesota's public is stepping up as never before, blurring the line between observer and contributor to the scientific project. An uncertain future, Minnesota at the cusp as the sun slips behind pine forests and sparks ripple across mirrored lakes, Minnesota's story grows richer and deeper. A state long reputed for quiet endurance and resilience is now a front line for phenomena that span from the cosmic to the deeply local. From auroral storms and neutrino experiments to surprising ecological recoveries and ancient climate patterns, every layer of the land echoes with signals of change. This isn't simply a tale about what's underfoot or what glimmers in the night sky or what flickers across a scientist's monitor. It's a mosaic, interlocking puzzles, old and new, each challenging what we thought we knew. From magnetic storms that put on light shows rarely seen outside the Arctic, to drought signatures locked in the mud, to communities becoming citizen scientists at the state fair, Minnesota stands distinct. Its mysteries are rapidly becoming touchstone for studies far beyond its borders. So. What do you make of Minnesota's scientific awakening? Is it the ghostly neutrino pulses deep below the arrowhead? The unexpected auroras that splash color over prairies? The secret habitats beneath rows of solar panels? Or the communities rising to meet the unknown with curiosity and action? Let us know in the comments. Which revelation startled you the most? Was it the faint signals from deep underground? The eruption of color in the night? or the reminder that the overlooked Midwest could become a pivotal stage for the next leaps in science and understanding. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you want more stories from the edge, where the unexpected comes alive and the world's hidden wonders break into view. Until our next journey into the unknown, stay curious and keep exploring.